let's do some eyeshadow today. So I did this makeup video probably a week or so ago and the eyeshadow got some attention. So I'm gonna show you how I did this look. It's with five colors. I have Drift, Angel's Landing, Philly, Chai, and Sedona. And I'm starting with Chai in the crease with the eyeshadow brush from Saint. So Chai is a very light shade, even on my fair skin. But I love to start with a very light shade in the crease because it helps everything blend together seamlessly. So the next shade I'm using is actually my darkest shade. This is Philly. I use it and recommend it a lot. So this I'm using with the small side of the eyeshadow brush and I'm kind of creating a greater than and less than sign on the outer corners of my eyes. You can see it's almost like a backwards V or like a little bird speak. I'm doing it on either side. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then inside of that, I'm doing another greater than less than sign with Sedona. So this is my mid-tone shade. It's a little bit warm. It's super pretty. And then I take a little Sedona on my brush with the fluffy side and kind of soften everything together so it's not super bold because this look is great for a daytime. You can make it more bold if you want, but I'm gonna wear it really soft today and really play on the shimmers. Soften everything together, make it super soft and blend together. And then I take a little bit of Sedona and a little bit of Philly under the bottom lash line. That's my bottom lash color. And then I'm going for shimmer. So this is Angel's Landing. I always recommend you apply your shimmers with your finger because you'll get the most out of them. This one's a little bit metallic. It's super pretty. I'm kind of using it to close the gap between my dark shades and the inner corner of my eye. So it's just the middle shade. And then I'm taking a little bit of drift, which is very light on my pinky finger and I'm pressing it into the inner corner of my eye and blending it towards Angel's Landing. So that both of these colors are just going to marry into each other and kind of become one, one little gradient in the middle. Soften everything together and it's basically done. So then I just take my finger and kind of swipe that bright color through the bottom lash line. So then I have a little bit of an inner corner highlight and add eyeliner, mascara, and the rest of my makeup, and you'll see it come together. It's totally done. So if you need any eyeshadow recommendations, let me know. This is the combo I like to include in my shade matches a lot because anybody can wear it it's so pretty. And this is it in a little bit different light.